Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's set the stage, shall we? Netflix, the streaming giant, made headlines with a jaw-dropping $100 million deal with none other than the Duke and Duchess of Sussex themselves. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear about such a colossal sum of money being thrown around, I expect something truly groundbreaking in return. But alas, what we got instead was a mishmash of self-indulgent projects that reek of attention-seeking antics rather than genuine storytelling. First off, let's talk about Megan. Ah, Megan, the spotlight's favorite darling. It seems wherever she goes, drama follows. From her days in the royal family to her newfound freedom in Hollywood, she's managed to keep herself at the center of attention, playing the victim card with masterful precision. But let's be real here, folks. How much longer are we going to entertain this charade? It's like watching a never-ending soap opera where Megan is the star and everyone else is just a supporting character in her quest for eternal fame. And then we have Harry, the once-beloved prince turned puppet. It's hard to believe this is the same man who once stood proudly by his family's side, representing his country with dignity and grace. But oh, how the mighty have fallen. Harry, my dear fellow, what happened to you? It's as if you've traded in your royal birthright for a chance to be Megan's loyal lapdog following her every whim and fancy without a second thought. Now, let's talk about their so-called projects with Netflix, a six-part series about their life, the voiceover documentary, and animation. Are we seriously expected to believe that these are the creative masterpieces worthy of a $100 million investment? I don't know about you, but I'd rather watch paint dry than subject myself to such drivel. But wait, there's more. Apparently, they've acquired the rights to adapt a novel into a film. Because, you know, the world was just clamoring for another generic Hollywood adaptation. And let's not forget about the unscripted projects they have in the pipeline. Oh joy, I can hardly contain my excitement. But perhaps the most egregious part of this whole ordeal is the audacity with which they continue to use their royal titles to bolster their Hollywood dreams. It's like they're trying to have their cake and eat it too clinging on to the royal name while simultaneously thumbing their noses at the institution that gave them everything they have. And let's not forget the tension they've caused within the royal family with their never-ending barrage of claims and accusations. It's as if they have a vendetta against the very people who once welcomed them with open arms. But fear not, dear viewers, for there may be a silver lining on the horizon. It seems that even Netflix, with all its deep pockets and penchant for controversy, has started to see through the smoke and mirrors. With talks of tensions and gambles, it's clear that even they are beginning to question the wisdom of hitching their wagon to the Harry and Meghan Express. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.